That's our, we're that's such, our thing. We're such good stewards of yeah. this space. <laughs> uh, we should be live now. Hey, guys, this is the uh, 100,000 subscriber live stream celebration. Yeah. And we already got people coming in. Cool. I'm right. glad because we did a really, really job, really bad job of getting people a heads up that this is even happening today. I think we mentioned it in one vault episode. And uh, I've got the chat stream up on my end. Sometimes somehow people found found the thing. Jimmy Leg. <laughs> oh, so many wonderful, so cool. many good people. So we're gonna get some good uh, recommendations because in this live stream to commemorate hundred thousand freaking magnificent bastards. What are we doing? We're going to blend 100 whiskeys. Yeah. And you are going to select them starting as soon as you want to mention something. Right. Where every bottle you mention is uh, going to be a one ounce pour. Mm -hmm. We're not trying to make judgments on mixing. Somebody said Ardbeg 10. <gasps> oh, by the way. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait. Let's introduce. We have four Somali or three and a half Somalias. <laughs> Because you're married to a Somali. We have three and a half Somalias helping us do the pouring on, uh, well, I guess, all of our right. Oksana Belov, Hale Whittington, Deb Nehemiah, and Andrew Harrison. No. Okay. If it Our big ten. Somebody make it happen. If at any point uh, we're talking and rambling and we forget to be calling out your suggestions, they're going to call out their own suggestions. Yep. But they're going to be filling the barrel for us. So we got the Arbeck uh, 10 here. Glenn Grant 12. So, uh, Adam Farnsworth said Fireball. Damn it, Adam. I know. No. Adam, <laughs> you're out. <laughs> we just started the live stream. We and, can't ruin hey, it yet. I, I'm not going to be able to get them all in order, so I'm only just going to look down and what my eye catches. That's what we grab next. All right, Lefroy 10. Lefroy 10. Balconis Rye. Balconis Rye. What's going uh, Remember, Rye is right here. Lagavulin 16. Of course, Lagavulin 16. Glenn Grant 12. Glenn Grant 12. All right, now take a space for a second. Let these guys pour these four or five. Yeah, give them, give them As soon as somebody says ready, I'll give you the next one. You know what, Daniel? I have a dangerous lack of whiskey here. Oh, crap. We're not drinking any whiskey. <laughs> All right, hang on a second. What should we drink? Who do we want? How are you going to be able to tell the difference? I know. Somebody say, Daniel and Rex, drink this. Uh, John Carty says uh, Red Rust 12. Red Rust 12. Um, of course I see that comment. And there's only 15 up there right now because the 12 is not been repurchased yet so oh, man 15. i 15 i am angels envy rye for super, Rex. super curious about what this is going to turn into because it wasn't i, mean, I think it was, was like last week actually we did an infinity bottle yeah, episode barrel, where we blended i don't know i feel like a dozen or so whiskeys we're gonna a single a bottle shot. and uh the, the moment we capped that bottle and the moment we topped off that bottle we were kind of underwhelmed it wasn't a bad whiskey just kind of flat kind of muted um, and then we circled back a day later, and it was an amazing whiskey. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Um, I, I, we ran out of the Angels and we ride. So, Texas rye cask strength from Balconis. Ooh, okay. This is a tasty whiskey, by the way. So, you didn't get me. Cask strength rye. You didn't give me the red breast. So, no. you don't even care. No, I just don't. You don't even care. Just don't 15. care. All right, we ready? Okay, good. Uh, let's do four rows of single barrel. Uh, Kulila 12. Lindronic. Glendronic 12 and uh, Old Platain, Pult Me 12. This is just, this is awesome. So, for those um, that haven't been privy to all the details leading up to this, Daniel, yes, we're putting it into a barrel just for a very brief period of time. Yeah, yeah, okay. So, what we like a couple of days? I mean, we're circle, circle back on Monday or Tuesday. We're not trying to age it, we're not trying to change it. We just need a barrel catching receptacle right here. Mm -hmm. uh, that's a little bit nicer looking than a big jug of water. I'm keeping a list of this red breast 15. What did you get? You oh, what? what did you got, Cleola? Somebody needs to grab the monkey, monkey shoulder. Monkey shoulder. Go ahead, Jordan 12 is in there. Uh, Hakushu. Haku oh, really? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Hakushu 12. Well, there's not as the comments are flying fast and furious, but mm -hmm. no, move to your right, Daniel. Open 14. No, I was over here typing to make sure that I have all these things. Open 14. Uh, so are we basically making an infinity barrel? Mm -hmm. Okay, we're making an infinity barrel. 
Um, I think it was Canadian Whiskey Smith. Who's free? Dragon Lord 12. I think it was 14. Canadian Whiskey Smith. He yeah, recommended um, in last week's tribe video that we start an infinity barrel at the distillery. And the rules are you bring, I don't know, I'll have to read what the, the actual details were, but you're going to bring a bottle of whiskey. It gets poured in, or maybe you bring two bottles or something. Island Park 12. That gets poured in, and then bottle. you get to take out one bottle's worth. So we can literally have a barrel of aging whiskey with hundreds of different whiskeys. We'll see. Is that a legal thing? Uh, An infinity yeah. barrel at the distillery. If if we're sort, no, we can't do it from bottles. No, we're not. Illegal. We're not selling yeah, yeah. from our stuff. If we've made it, absolutely, we're not selling. They're bringing like the people, the oh, tribe. The no, that bastards. can have nothing to do with the distillery. Nothing. What if we had? It can happen. It just needs to happen like at Tuscan Hall. What if there's a convenient walking distance location of a barrel where people could do things that were not actively our bed, Corey Reckon, officially Ooh, wow. handled by us. Four Roses already done. Have we done the Glen Farkless? Nope. Glen Farkless, uh, the 15 or the 17? 15 or 17. Back 17. row there. 17. 17. Okay, who needs a job? Somebody need a job? Have we done the Jameson? We got to do Jameson. Let's do the Jameson. Just get the classic Jameson top right corner. Is it to be top right? Yeah, that? grow. You got it? You got it? Andrew. No. Andrew's on. Andrew. Got it. Andrew's on. So, red breast for Rex. Yes. Red breast. We already put red breast in, in there. there. Yeah. So, it's not in here. Yeah. In there. So, you gave me a ride. Did we put uh, Angel's Envy bourbon in there at all? One. Thank you. Damn. It's actually good. Angel's Envy bourbon. It's actually really good, right? Uh, so, um, while they're running around scrambling, filling the barrel. Hey, we're already one fifth of the way. That's good. What questions do you guys have? And we'll try. I'll look for a question mark and try and read it before it flies up the screen. I know, right? <laughs> McAllen 12. Who doesn't have a bottle? Uh, McAllen 12. Ooh. Um, Glenn Breton 10. Glenn Breton 10. Do we like Glenn Breton? Glenn Breton. Really? Yeah. The one Canadian really hard to get whiskey. Yeah. Uh, it's a square bottle in here somewhere, and I do have it. Is it right there? There See it is. Right there. Question. What Wind are the odds down. of? Oh, what are the odds of somebody dropping a bottle in this hustle? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> pretty, <laughs> pretty high. It's a yeah. breakfast whiskey situation, and we're all running around a room full of glass uh, bottles. <laughs> uh, all right, what do we have? Would you guys ever consider going on a podcast like Joe Rogan? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. We were talking about Joe Rogan. Uh, wasn't it? Glenfiddich Deluxe. It was on Thursday. Brian Brushwood and I were talking about Joe Rogan in the class that we were doing right on the other side of the wall here. Yep. Um, as a really excellent podcast example of somebody who very much has an identity that he is consistent with. Whether or not you agree with it is besides the point, but he's good at what he does. Gentleman Jack. How about some uh, whistle? It's going to be far end over there. Like Jack Daniels is Tennessee. How about some whistle pig? Whistle pig ride. Yeah. Whistle pig ride. Uh, in the whistle pig section, where they keep the whistle pigs. <laughs> Wait, I saw a question mark. Favorite memory of the whiskey vault? Oh, yeah, that's a good yeah, question. There we go. These live streams are pretty amazing. Actually, no, actually, the very first live stream we ever did, yeah. that was pretty cool because we never thought we would get there. Yeah. I mean, it was a big deal for us. Right. It was like, what, 5,000 or 1,000? No. What do you mean? How many subscribers? Yeah. Did the first live stream we did was to celebrate, I think it was a thousand. Something wasn't it? like that. It that. was so, I mean, we were like, who ever thought we would arrive? No, and then, honestly, that was, that was one of the moments where I realized uh, the number of shenanigan lovers out there. Yeah. Who aren't completely turned off by our unique flavor yeah. of content. <laughs> they showed up Still in, oak. in Max for that live stream. That was super fun. Right here. I think next to the outlets. Um, I think my favorite moment though was <laughs> reading the comments but more 12 after the uh, final episode of Rex Week. Because that yeah. was that, that was the first time. That was pretty good. That was the first time Spice I was tree extravaganza. ever allowed to do like one of the fever dream ridiculous. I don't care if you like it or not episodes. <laughs> um, and in the comments, the people uh, time and time again, it was like the most horrific, bad, brutal thing I've ever watched in my life. I absolutely loved it. <laughs> <laughs> that is the you are a bad person. 
just a sinister, disgusting human being. Mm -hmm. Thank you, sir. May I have another? That was that was a lot of fun. The Scotch people are winning this battle. Talisker Storm. Mm -hmm. It's over there on the got a spring back issue. In the bottom. See, 12, 10, 13, 13, 12. Well, there should be a 15 back there. It, it might be in green. Uh, another another fun moment. A 12 and a 13 in green. Was uh, whenever we launched the Whiskey Tribe well, channel, it was known as run out. the Whiskey Biscuits channel. And it was when Daniel and I realized we want to be able to do a lot of stuff that we can't necessarily do here. Mm -hmm. So we started a new channel. And it's kind of this question is like, well, is anybody going to come over? I mean, we're not in a fancy vault and we literally yeah. have a patch of dirt Buffalo Trace. and some boards that are about to go up there. Buffalo Trace. Um, and so whenever we uh, invited, you know, the magnificent Old bastards to pile onto the new channel, the Whiskey Tribe channel, then literally uh, overnight, thousands of Stag people Junior. filled up the subs on that channel, which was amazing. It was fantastic. I think um, we're, we're inching towards like almost 30,000 smooth and more on the Whiskey Tribe right channel, which is, you know, amazing. That's, okay. that's super fantastic. Contradiction. It's accelerated growth for people who, uh, you know, have fairly recently started the channel. And the longer that channel goes, we see it as like a community channel. Mm -hmm. So especially whenever we start shooting in the room as often that's as possible, right. um, giving shout outs and pointing out cool, interesting things that you guys are doing. Uh, Beyond just me and Daniel dicking around and having fun and doing yeah. distillery type stuff. <laughs> so yeah, shining the spotlight on, on you guys is something I very much look forward to. I'm really looking forward to, um, yeah, actually we were talking about this in the class, that someday there's going to be kings of web and YouTube and social media who met each other and got started hanging out in our community. Elijah Craig. And that's going to be a legacy that I am excited about. There's still so Elijah Craig. Forget what Rex and I are doing 10 years from now, the things that start from this crew mm -hmm. that become amazing king of the world things. Yeah. That's going to be pretty amazing. That'll be fun. Have we done Elijah Craig yet? Uh, nope. Elijah Craig. Yep. And then, oh, oh yeah, we got to do them. You got to tell me when you tell them so I, I can know. listen. Michter's American. Michter's American. Michter's that's American. That's in the American section. And if you accidentally pour Dead some. middle, yeah. most of the way to the back, blue top. Awesome. If you accidentally pour some extra mixed Michter's American, that's okay. Into Rex's glass. <laughs> <laughs> if it just lands in this general area. Basil Hayden. That's fun. Uh, what do we got here? Dalmore. Well, good. Cool. Dalmore 12. Yeah, let's do some Dalmore 12. As Jimmy would say, the only place Dalmore belongs in our blended barrel, <laughs> buried by everything else. All right, so Daniel's over here. I'm going to turn this a little bit. We can... Oh, man down. <laughs> Metal. It finally happened. All right, what are we missing? Uh, Tullamore Dew. Tullamore Dew. And uh, Wyoming Whiskey. Somebody grab Tullamore, somebody grab Wyoming Whiskey. Wyoming. And have we done Eagle Rare yet? I feel like surely we've done Eagle Rare. No, we haven't. Eagle Rare. Eagle Rare. Uh, now, the McAllen M is actually. Dude, there's no McAllen M. We finished the McAllen M. What are you looking for? The McAllen M is gone. I already got it. Done. We are without McAllen M. And in its place, you want to see what's in the. This is, this is, this is a travesty. Oh, yeah. What's in place of the McAllen M? <laughs> It's just by sure luck. Valentine's. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Jeff uh, Jefferson's Ocean should be right over there. Okay. Which Valentine's? It's fine, but it's not a worthy successor. We need we need another Teeling super fancy. Malt. Daniel, we need another trophy whiskey here at some point. We really do. It's the beating heart of the vault. We have to call. We need to call. Uh, call Ryan Dice again. <laughs> yeah, any more of them fancy whiskey? <laughs> Stranahan's. Stranahan's. Oh, uh, just oh. tell me which one you're using. Um, green spot. Green, green spot. spot is going to be really hard to get. Yeah, that's fine. Green spot's going to be way up high, dead middle. That's going to be all Andrew. And, uh, we already did Red Wrist 12. You ready? Jefferson's Ocean. Uh, I just looked through all those. See the ocean okay, one. we'll get another one. We'll get the presidential. Yes. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you very much. The classic. Now, this one's gone in there yet? Here you go. That one got in. Okay, got it. I'm gonna mix a little bit of the rye with the Mixer's American and gotcha. Rex Cask. Yes, I see Rex Cask. <laughs> Somebody really wants Rex Cask to be a thing, and I don't. Dis I don't disagree. Do we own Chewy Stock? No, we don't. 
Uh, Compass Box. Johnny Walker Black. Oh, we already put Spice Tree Extravaganza in there. Yeah, Which one are they talking Compass about? Compass Box. It flew up. The Pete Monster. The Pete Monster. Ooh, it the is Monster. right there. Yes. You know what? Have we done and Which Johnny Walker? Johnny Walker yeah. Black. Black. Yeah. Have we done? Uh, have we done the? What is that? Oh no, Bryn. You know what? Bryn French whiskey. It is sweet tarts. It is literally sweet tarts liquefied into a whiskey. But I think it'll probably be a, you know tamed. Like, we could try Bryn. It's going to be down here on the floor. Let's put some Bryn. Very very back right corner. French whiskey. That is probably by far the most naked sugary. Avalor twelve. Like it's not trying to do anything other than the sweetest Brin possible thing you can put in your mouth. Even more so than the Texas the TX blended whiskey, which is like melted vanilla ice cream. Mm -hmm. The Bryn. It's like no. Sweetest thing. I, I would not be surprised. Octomore. They put a pound of sugar in that thing and shook it up. I'm getting that one. This is going to be a PDB. Did you hear all of our songs? Yeah. After I said Octomore. You can't see. He's getting into the fancy case and he's pulling out a big box right now. I got to find that bottle first. Uh, who's going to do the Highland Park? We already did 12. Right? Already did 12? Okay. Yeah. How about the Kanapogi Castle? Oh, ah, the Pogue Castle. No Kanapogi. The Kinnapogi? The Kinnapogi. Yeah, I love the Kinnapogi. Yeah. It sounds like something in like northern Appalachia. Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, oh, Sexton. Oh, yeah. Let's do some Sexton Irish. Sexton Irish. Irish. Sexton Irish whiskey. And then the Pogue. And use the Pogue 12, which yes. is right in the middle right here. You know what? Uh, somebody threw out the Stag Jr. Oh, we already put that in. You put Stag Jr. You already put All Stag right. Jr. in. Then uh, somebody else said Black Bull. And let's shake. Black Bowl, we'll put that in. Let's do some Black Bowl. Top middle. Meth. Right there. <laughs> Somebody wants to Meth. Meth. God damn it. What, uh, what is uh, it's Black Bowl and what? No, that was just it. Men Meth. No, no, no. That's not a scotch. Oh, you were Black reading? Black and yeah. Uh, well, they're just, uh, they're gonna so Brimstone? Oh, let's shake. That's what it was. Okay. Um, Kalila. Oh, yeah. We already got that one. You already got Kalila? Yep. Okay. Uh, let's Meth check down again. on the floor. Meth again. Meth Fine, again. guys. We'll use All right. Get it. Uh, ketamine. Oh, now it's here. getting super fast. I don't have any pappy. You don't have any pappy. Um, oh, the 1792. Yeah, 1792. 1792. That's going to be very, very top left because it's a number. No, if we put the 1792 in and the whole damn thing tips over. Yeah. <laughs> it's a cursed yeah, everyone whiskey. knows 1792 bottles can't stay standing straight up. It is a cursed whiskey. Take a nose. Uh, so, have we done the Templeton? What are you looking for? Have we Here done Templeton? Go. Put it back on. Okay. You got the 1792. You got it? Okay. What about the Templeton? Templeton Rye. Let's do Templeton Rye. Got it. And then, uh, it's over here. no, it's we're not doing Coca Cola. It's not over here, then. We don't have it. <laughs> I'm on. trying to read. Good Lord, you magnificent <laughs> bastards. I'm not that young anymore. My old eyes can't keep up. Uh, <laughs> sons of bitches, I hate you so much. All right, I'm going to have to. I've never done this before. I'm going to see if there's like a slow mode. Just so I can There's read. really not, yeah. Just so I can read. Blanton. Well, I'm sure there is, but. Yep, it's right by your calf there. We're Sonic. too inept to figure it out. Uh, Ghost in. Ooh. Johnny Walker Ghost Blue. and Rare, done. Ghost and Rare. Yeah. All right. Who's getting the Johnny Walker Blue Ghost and Rare? Daniel's getting it. Oh, yes. Daniel's getting it. Uh, did I already say, I said Eagle Rare a while ago. Have I said Angel's Envy? Yes. Yeah, we got Angel's got Envy. Yep. Good. Okay. Oh, have we done the French Oak, the Balconist French Oak? Uh, No, Froak. Oh, yes. The Froak is glorious. We're up to we're up to number sixty. Oh, good. good uh, good what's going to be Glen going twelve? Good progress. We already got some Lagavulin. We already got some Monkey Shoulder. Uh, have we done Hibiki yet? No. no. Hibiki seventeen. <laughs> you guys are brutal. <laughs> I don't have the seventeen, but I do have the twelve. Okay. Which is now extremely expensive for a bottle. No, you and I actually compared the seventeen and the twelve. I the twelve away, is better. I went away liking the twelve better. Yes, me too. I think seventeen was too long, and it started to just uh, kind of dull off any of the interesting bits. Greg Bishop, which E H Taylor? I've got the seasoned wood. I've got the small batch, and I've got the barrel proof. My face makes Aaron Smith happy. He's enjoying some bre breakfast whiskey stew. Uh, Oban 14? 
We already got the window. We already got open 14. Good. Hey, so here's the thing. On the list, Daniel, mm -hmm. we need to have some whiskeys. Barrel proof. We need to have some whiskeys that are some, oh, shit, whiskeys. <laughs> some age statements in there where you're going through the list of 100 things, and they're like, oh, dude, did you really put that whiskey in a blend of 100 whiskeys? And I'm saying that because, watch, over here. Oh, yeah. He left the door open. Ah, no, the door is open. <laughs> um, let's do. That's the fancy stuff right there. Let's do the Duncan Taylor Special Edition. Yeah. The only thing we need is the oh shit whiskeys. The ones, I don't care if it's. Oh, good. you know what? I don't care if it's good or not. Jimmy Leg. We're just going for street cred here. Jimmy Leg. Make sure Jimmy Leg's going to get a little uh, going on here in a second. Because this is the Duncan Taylor 20 year old Springbank Special Edition. Oh. And it's a Ford bottle, 49 of 63 bottles <laughs> ever made. Uh, that's brutal. Okay. All right. All right. So let's say like the last 10. What do you think? Okay. We're like, oh, shit. Was Duncan this? Taylor. The last 10. We're 20 make sure. year spring bank. Now, do we have just regular spring bank in there? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Uh, there's, I don't even know. I don't even know what Rose Bank is. Have you heard of Rose no, Bank? No, I don't have any. It's a closed distillery. How about Akintoshin? We are, oh, Akintoshin. Akintoshin Three Wood. Three Wood. Akintoshin Three Wood. Three -wood. Akintoshin Three -wood. This is fun. I know this is like just a hot mess. but Now, as soon as we're full, then the comments slow down. We can actually talk. Oh, yeah. 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 We'll um, okay. Uh, wild Turkey. Wild Turkey. Oh, and Hudson Bay. Let's do Wild Turkey. Let's do we do have that. Hudson Bay? Oh, sure. I've seen it. Which one? The good one. No, it's not Hudson Bay. It's Hudson. We have uh, Hudson Bay. No, Hudson is the brand. Not Hudson Bay. Hudson. Oh, Hudson Bay. Hudson. Hudson. Baby. 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 Baby Bourbon. That's right Baby. there to your right side. Oh, Jura Superstition. Yeah. Jura Superstition. Uh, did you move it from where I? It's go? over there on the floor. Yeah, Jura Superstition. Hudson Bay is right here. Daniel rearranged the vault recently. I know where nothing is now. <laughs> uh, do we have a Willet in there? No, nope, so. but we can. Okay, let's do a Willet. Daniel's gonna write down a Willet. Willet's right there in that fancy yeah. bottle. Right. Jura Superstition. No, we're not Good. doing Everclear. <laughs> uh, how about some Knob Creek? Knob Creek, none. Knob Creek. All right. Oh, and uh, got the uh... Knob Creek is on the oh, far left. You, you know what? Okay. I like Four Roses. How about we already got Four Roses. We already got Four Roses. <laughs> Do you know how long this would have taken if we didn't have these people? In I know, I know. Believe me, I know. Stop. That's why I called them. Thank all. you guys. For <laughs> this. Uh, Wiggle Bourbon. Oh yeah, I know we have it. Wiggle Bourbon. Daniel, what about? Yeah, it's right. It's, it's got the really colorful the wheat. labels. The wheat or the bourbon? Hey, let's do some right long more. Right here. Oh. Let's do some long more. No, no, let's do some long no, yes. dude. <laughs> and. I'm looking at that stolen whiskey over there, man. That's an amazing whiskey. The stolen whiskey and the Longmorn. That's All right. Longmorn. Longmorn 16. The purple box, not the brown one. Stolen 11. It's just stingy, Dad. I already got the monkey shoulder. I already got the... Have we done the Freud? Yeah. Yes. Okay. We did the Freud 10. Okay, we did the 10. Andrew, did you just like <laughs> flunk that over my shoulder? <laughs> they would want to see it. You bastard. Uh, <laughs> Buffalo Trace. We got that. We got Buffalo Trace. What yeah. about uh, Glen Morangy? We don't have Glen Morangy. Which one? Uh, the one that's... Oh, you know what? I really like the Nectar Dwarf. All right. Nectar Dwarf. Glen Morangy, Nectar Dwarf. Go. And then... Uh, we already got Glen Farkless, so let's skip that one. Uh, Andalusia Striker. Yes, our first Texas whiskey other than Balcones. Yeah, Andalusia Striker. And then the... Uh, have we done the... Have we done a Glendidic? Surely we've done a Glendidic. Yeah, we did the pro we did the Project X double X. Okay, Andalusia Striker, cool. Black art, we really do have black art, but that's really expensive. Right, we'll save it for like the last ten. Okay, All right. pull the black arts to the top. We'll save left the corner. most painful ones for the last from ninety to a hundred. There, um, Bullet Rye, Garrison Rye. Brothers. Do we want to put just some, pick any one over there? Some Bullet Rye in there. A little light rice. Yes. A little light rice. Do a Bullet Rye. Yeah. Bullet Rye. Wait, Del Bach. I mean, you're really serious about that Del Bach, aren't you? I, I hardly have any Del Bach left. So is, is that it's going to be in the single malts, Del Bach. 
Well, yeah, Andrew's getting warmed up. We'll, we'll save it for like the last like ninety to hundred. All right, all right. see if we can make. And tell me which one it is. See if we can make Daniel cry. <laughs> it's not gonna take much. I'm feeling a little fragile right now. <laughs> they're getting into everywhere. No, they're everywhere. <laughs> uh, let's uh, do. Bookers. Pick a bookers. Have Andrew. we done? Have we done bookers. a Deanston? No, we haven't done Deanston. Let's do a Deanston twelve. I'm out of 12 because I just use it to taste Let's do a Deanston but number. I'll do the Deanston, just the classic single malt. Delbach, winter release. Okay. Oh, really? Okay. What about uh, McKenna 10? Have we done a McKenna? No. Uh, I'm typing. Let's see. McKenna. No. Let's do Henry McKenna. McKenna 10. Henry McKenna 10. What number are we at, Daniel? 81. 81. All right. We're creeping up there. Westland. Oh, I was going to say. Oh, Westland, single malt. Let's do the unpeated. Let's do Westland, and then let's do... Uh, let's get a high west in there. I haven't seen that one yet. I oh yeah, high, high west. west. Get the borai. I'm calling. The, yeah, I'm what? calling the uh, high west borai. It's right there in the as far as it runs. The beginning. There should be a board. Oh no, you know what? It's in the weird mix of things over here because it's neither already part got of it nor ride. Already got angels in. It's, it's in the bottom middle. Uh, hey, let's get some long branch in there. Down here. Mm -hmm. Wild turkey long branch. What am I looking for, Daniel? Oh, long branch. Uh, right here, right in the middle. Borai, high west Borai, really tall bottle. Long branch is right there in the front. We got some Mictors American in there. We got Highland Park in there. Ranger Creek Rim Fire. Ranger Creek Rim Fire, that's a single malt. Yep. Ranger Creek Rim Fire. Oh, yeah. And we got the. So quick. Good. Balconis. Now, do you want some Balconis Baby Blue? Yeah, we've not done any corn whiskey. Yeah, let's do that one. Balconis uh, Baby Blue. Do we have the baby? I think we do. It's a, the corn oh, whiskey is in the bottom. Right. Then okay, true blue. I don't know if we have Caleb the High West Mid Midwinter's Nights uh, Midwinter Nights Ram. Do we have High West High Mid uh, Midwinter? Uh, we might. Yeah. Do you remember what it is? High West Midwinter Nights Ram. I, yeah, but is it like a? I, I can't remember if it's a dominant grain. I don't know. Like, is it a rye or a bourbon or a? I don't know. Uh, and then we got the King. Well, King. It's the ride. Oh, okay. Right. Port Charlotte. Oh, Port Charlotte. That was a good No, I don't have the Midwinter's Night. How about uh, Port Charlotte? Port Charlotte, which one? I've got um, Isla Barley Heavily Peated. See the Heavily Peated. The Lynch and the Tin. No, no, no. You know what? We got a lot of peaty stuff in there. As much as I love the Heavily Peated Port Charlotte, it's actually my preferred. Let's do the Tin. Let's do the Tin. Uh, and then what about there was another one that I haven't seen that's kind of an obscure it's um, not ball bag it's ball Blair ball Blair yeah it's probably mispronouncing it still but we'll do the 03 ball is, Blair because it's right here I remember yeah. that <laughs> okay um, hey, we already have Craig and more already have Basil Hayden what about Pendleton uh, Pendleton that's might be in the Canadian section if it is, it's going to be hard to find. It's a pain in the ass. The, the Blade and Bow. Blade and Bow we have, yeah. Have we done? 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 We already did Whistle Pig. Um, how about some... We're at 91. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Hold on. Now, now we're going for maximum punishment. <laughs> I'm not putting Copper Fox in there, man. Okay. <laughs> Copper Fox ruins everything. Uh... Oh, uh, black arts. <laughs> the brook lot. All right, I'm pouring the last ones myself. The brook lot. So I can have a chance to say goodbye. All right. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. You guys were Guys, awesome. pour yourself anything you want from the vault and hang out with us now. Uh, so I'm thinking after he does this, I saw a King Alexander fly up there. Oh, God. Let's, okay. get, a, let's get a little King Alexander. Right. Yeah. Okay, I wrote that one. All there. right, and the McAllen M, we're out of the M. We polished off the second ball. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Yeah. You're talking faster than I can pull. I'll, don't worry, I'll savor the moment. Yeah, I know you will. <laughs> All right. Uh, and King Alexander. Yep. Right there. Glorious. Could you guys help me by putting these back after I use them? Yes. Mm, uh, the oldest floor, bottle we have. Over there. Yeah. All right. So Daniel, at this at this point, what Hang is on. what is the oldest bottle in the vault? Um. Is it a Lafroy thirty two or no? There's a thirty one year old. Thirty one. 
Um, where did it go? Uh, Milton Duff. Duff, okay. So, 31 year old Milton I Duff. I think we really from, we finished with LaFroy 32. Yeah, we finished with LaFroy 32. So, now the 31 year old Milton Duff's the oldest. And Old Smuggler? <laughs> what is Old Smuggler? That doesn't sound Sorry. like punishment. Is old, is old Smuggler something that would punish I don't, you? I don't have it. We don't have it. Okay. okay. Uh, red Handed Bourbon. Somebody's getting, he really wants Red Handed Bourbon. But that's just from our friends at Treaty Oak, man. That's just a sourced bourbon. It's like MGP. So we got everything in there. But what what are we up to? We got to we got to be selective now. What are we up to? We've we got to... six, uh, eight left. Eight left. Okay. McAllen M is we don't we don't have it anymore. <laughs> oh, the Seagard. Someone saw the Seagard Highland Park. Can you get that and open it up? Is that a good one? Yeah, it's a rare one. And Dark Cove. We already put. Oh, Dark Cove. Hello, Ardbeg Dark Cove, please. Yeah. <sighs> uh, the Highland Park Seagard. Where is it? Yes. Do we want the cigarette? It's on the floor. Right. Right here. Right. Oh, she has it right here. Oksana has it. Andrew? Yes. Pour dark. Oh, I'll, I'll pour it. Yeah. I'll hand you the bottle. You got it. You got it. Get over here so you guys can actually see it going in. Probably should have done that a long time ago. Uh, we already got the Knock Creek. We already got the Stag. We already got the Glen Morangy. Uh, we got some Japanese whiskeys one. in there. We've done uh, yeah. a lot of different Balconis, if I recall correctly. Um, were we able to find the Jefferson's Ocean, Andrew? Uh, uh, we got we switched not the ocean we did the Jefferson's very rare. Okay, we couldn't find the ocean. We got the uh, not we're doing Diet Coke. Rex not a thing. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's having flashbacks to next week. Uh, then Treaty Oak Ghost Hill. We can do that one. Sure. Treaty Oak Ghost Hill. Yeah. So Treaty Oak is going to be in the burb. Uh, actually, I think it's going to be in the right here. Okay. See look, 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 where I'm actually pointing. Okay. See the treaty oak? One's called Ghost. There are two of them. One's called Ghost. Sorry, that was called Dead Air. There you go. <laughs> There's <laughs> no one on the screen. <laughs> Everybody rushed to the other side of the room. Uh, Cedar Ridge, Glendronic. I think we got Glendronic in there, right? We do. We got Glendronic in there. And Crowded Barrel, number two. <laughs> 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 Somebody saw this morning's episode yeah. on that's awesome on our other channel. Um, and by the way, uh, I'll, I'll circle back and I'm going to link up here since this is an infinity barrel that we're doing our infinity bottle episode on the whiskey. Our big twenty something. Uh, apparently, that was a really good episode. A lot of people are watching that. So we're going to link that top, very top left, up here for people that are watching this and have yet to see that episode. Uh, so Bushmills twenty one. Bushmills 21, that's not a painful one. Sure, why not? Yeah, see, Daniel's not, he's actively not going over there and pulling out whiskeys because you guys aren't naming them. I only have the Bushmills 16. Not good enough. Yeah. What I'm about to do is take you over into the fancy cabinet. No, I'm putting in the Bushmills 16. <laughs> <laughs> and it's not that all of these whiskeys are super expensive. It's that they're just hard to replace where we are. So we're gonna go on a little. Somebody's journey. write this down. We're gonna go on a little journey. On my last. See what we got here. All right. Our big. We got 21. the Dalmore the, the the one where there's like nothing left. Daniel. <laughs> I've only got three left to work with here. Oh, I didn't write Ghost Rebel. I got two left. Compass box hedonism. Because it's glorious and you only have that much whiskey. Oh, man. <laughs> All right. And then, what else? By the way, this isn't just a hedonism. Anyone who's listening, uh -huh. here, yeah. this is not just a generic hedonism. This is actually the Quindecimus release. Oh. It was an anniversary edition. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's ghost and rare yeah. on the floor. You got the oh, there's Daniel's favorite long one 16. He tried to hide it in the back. We're not doing that one. We already <laughs> I will draw the line on that one. Wait, I just want to I'm now. just showing them the box. Yeah, yeah. I'm showing them the box. There we go. 
And then uh, what do we got down here? We got Ray birthday Ray bourbon. Irish tears, stolen whiskey. Special edition Irish stuff. Oh, oh, what is that? That's the um. Oh, really? <laughs> That's the John F. Fitzgerald. What is? So what? How do you, you have these? The you got Boondocks back there. I mean, I'm not going. No, to the that's bottom. American whiskey in the bottom. I'm not going to bottom there. Little book. Uh, Charlie G. Haig said Fitzgerald. So he just called the hundredth one. Oh, uh, the Fitzgerald. <laughs> um. Well, no, no. There's one more. Oh, there's one more after the Fitzgerald. I literally can't see what you guys are I'm saying right now. I see the this. the back of a laptop screen. All right, Haig, you get your way. <laughs> This is a twenty-year-old baby bottle. Well, show them, show them how fancy it is. Hold on, half bottle. Now, was that ninety-nine or is that one hundred? That was ninety-nine. Mm. And then, where's that thing? No, where's the case? The case is so cool. Yeah, you didn't bring the case. <laughs> this is the kind of whiskey that's so fancy. They put as much money into the case as they did into the bottle. As they, yeah, yeah they really did. So good. You know, it's keyholes and stuff. There you go, Andrew. Thank you. All right, one more. What's the last one? But what should the last one be? Fireball. <laughs> <laughs> you're, the, fi you're fired. Should the last one be fireball? I'm asking. <laughs> no. I'm asking no, for the lulls. No, no, no. Should the last it. one be fireball? We're not doing it for the lulls. I'm looking for one that guys are moving so fast. It's really hard to read. <laughs> well, I'm seeing a lot of yes. And I'm seeing a lot of no. Uh, we could do the McAllen rare cask. <laughs> <There's> <laughs> people have opinions. About yeah, they do. We're not doing fireball. It's uh, not happening. You know what? Do we want to just do a big brand like a crown Royal? It's going to be a letdown. No, it's going to be a letdown after the fireball. Let's do what is right now. Your absolute favorite whiskey. Oh, it's that lawnmower. Okay. Well, yeah, we're not doing that. Okay, so. <laughs> Come on, oh, James. oh, oh. A smoky whiskey. That's even more rare. How old? Is this officially? 28 old? years old. That's pretty old. Special edition from the Scotch Malt Whiskey Society. Yes. We get it's called one. the Muted Hebridean Smoke. So you can only get this from a special society. Yes, and it is bottle one of 192. Yeah. And it's really good. Okay. All right, there we go. That is 100. Right. No more suggestions. Let's Going actually have real discussion now. comments now. Thank you, Psalms. Yes. Fantastically helpful. Let's talk about the future, Daniel. Actually, no, we don't yeah. have anything to talk about. We're just saying now. Uh, Ardmore, finally, deep breath, salute, done. Yes. Now, uh, what are you guys? Uh, what are you guys drinking right now? What is that it's, muted Hebridean? What? Because I gotta believe smoke during whiskey live stream. Even though it's the morning for many of us, you got a little something, something in the glass there. What are you guys? Uh, what do you got? The sippy sip. What's happening? Hey, I'm gonna post the master list right now. It's got misspellings in it because I was typing quickly. Yep. I'm gonna post it to the stream. Yes, uh, man. We got a lot of scotches happening right now in the crowd. Tons of scotches. We got. Never mind. It wouldn't let me. It's too many words. Okay. Mm -hmm. Scotch drink. Grape juice. There you go. Grape juice. I would not want to see the thing. I'm down for kind of any. I'm down for like some some shenanigan blends every once in a while. Yeah. One thing I think I would actually get nauseous over is grape juice and whiskey. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, screw that. Yeah. I mean, I may have you tried. No, <laughs> damn it! <laughs> no, I actually really despise great. Right, make it make a quick note. Trap episode, Daniel. All right, we don't need any more whiskey suggestions. That barrel is done now. Yeah, that's what they're drinking. With the blood oath and oh. yeah, uh, okay. moonshine. Oh, Josh Baker's got the moonshine going on there. Okay, uh, hey, questions. Right, right. Yep. You want a first taste? Yes, we want a first taste. Absolutely. Give me a glass. A new. Do we have fresh glass? Yes. And you ready? I am. We're gonna spill a little. Are it's you fine? Or you can't? What, are you just hold on? We gotta show this to the people. All right, because this is about Dad, to come here. this shit is about, to, right, right, right. This this is about to go viral for older. <laughs> see if I can fit you in here. All right, Daniel, be mindful of camera placement so people can actually see. Did we get it? Yeah. Is it happening? Are we professionals? There we go. We're professionals. <laughs> All right. There you go. Right. 
Ooh. What are you doing with the job? Oh, yeah. Okay. Do we need some lechag in there? We have lechag in there. All right, we're going to put lechag in there. If we don't, we're going to put it in. If it's in there, we're not going to add more. And then we got this stuff, and we are back. And are you ready? What are we going to call this? Number two. <laughs> <laughs> Again, like so few people have seen today's tribe episode. Yeah. Get the reference. Uh, Man, Ooh. there's definitely some there's definitely some some peaty and uh, scotch in there. You scotch bastards showed up in mass, and it smells the bastards malt. Yes, oh, that's that's it. It. you got to approve that because it. Never mind, it's going to take a while to get that back. <laughs> Where is it? That was Daniel Treadwell, and we're clicking show on that. The bastard malt. That is exactly what it is. Or the infinite bastard. No, I think the bastard's malt because it's got so much single malt in there. But the hey, we have a guest. Holy crap! It's, it's a guy. It's Come on in. He just oh. showed up. Oh. It's the schwer. <laughs> Who's definitely wearing the same clothes as yesterday? It hasn't been. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting. I'm getting the getting bastard's good. blend. That's probably better. I get the nose. The bastard's blend because it is yeah. not a mall. Getting a nose. Yeah. And your logo could be two bees. Unwashed. Like yes. Yeah. Unwashed. Wagon wheel around it. <laughs> no singing you. wagon wheel in this stream. Daniel, are you getting unwashed schwood on the nose? I <laughs> am. It's, it's very dramatic. It's very almost. Uh, He's got a whip of cult leader in the, uh, yeah. uh, in the woods. Okay, try to smell that. This is yeah, 100 this whiskeys. Is this is the blend. 100, 100 and whiskeys. And here's the list. It is a very right there. It's a very scotchy. One hundred. Moocher's malt. Scotchy, smoky, peaty. Moocher's malt is almost as good as the Bastard's God blend, but I think Bastard's blend is it. The Bastard's. I just blend. realized. Sorry, I was thinking of things it smells like, and somebody says uh, I saw my name, mm -hmm. and I realized like uh, I just bought a lot of literal brushwood. Ah! <laughs> It's a dad joke. <laughs> Brushwood comes to hang out with us and does his bad joke. You're, uh, you're dead to me. Uh, <laughs> this was great. You guys don't pay me. <laughs> you guys pay me. I'm good. I was, story show other day said, does Brushwood live in your basement? <laughs> <laughs> I'm the famer. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm going to try that one. Try uh, sip I, I've only noticed it. Okay, try uh, a sip. This, this is the 100 blend. Mm -hmm. yep. And this is everything, just indiscriminately everything. Yes, well, the one ounce of each. The magnificent bastards were calling out recommendations, and we were pulling them off the shelf fast and furious and putting them in, uh, into the barrel. It's so a, these it's a delightful they blend. Um, yes. So, so uh, when I was in college, yeah. we had uh, we did the equivalent. We had, I think we had like forty different bottles of booze, uh, and then we did all of it, and then we put like one drop of Jaeger, and it just all of it tasted oh. like Jaeger, oh. right? So it's like that's why we avoided the fireball. So we were talking about. Um, there's a couple of things whenever you're doing like an infinity bottle, you're blending a bunch of whiskeys. Rye will dominate. What do you and, think? It's good. And Pete will dominate. And you scotchy sons yeah, of bitches. Pete's a real piece of work. You, so, you showed up today. So we're getting a very smoky, very peaty. On the nose, very complex. Oh, yeah. Very complex on the nose. I haven't tasted yet. What do you have? It's delightful. So uh, uh, the nose and the peaty and rye are kind of two different experiences. Ooh. It's, it's peaty and it sort of sucks yeah. all of the moisture out of your mouth. None of the sweet whiskey showed up. Huh. It swells up into a really dry, smoky. Yeah. yeah. Well, I was afraid it would be overpowered with smoke, right? Oh, dead. Smoke introduced itself. Do you have time to hoof it down to the distillery and grab the measuring tool yeah. to figure out what proof this is? Sure. If we keep this going, hey, you want to ride my scoot? <laughs> Sorry. Just just say, yeah. Do it. Okay. It's against yeah. the terms of service. She's gonna, she's gonna scoot. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, the scooter, it just gets more majestic yeah. every time I see it. I know. It, uh, it got fabulous. When does it become self-aware? <laughs> <laughs> and show up. <laughs> Wait, can, can we do a whole thing where we make a costume and I show up only as your scooter? <laughs> you <laughs> become self-aware. <laughs> you got like the bow <laughs> and the headlight. I just play a robot. <laughs> yes, yes that's, that's the thing we're doing. I am. Uh, Oh, a couple of magnificent bastards showed up when I was, while I was working, editing the video, and then they um, they pimped my ride. The Galladays oh, pimped my ride. That's even better. Yeah. I didn't know that because I... You I, thought I, I did that to I thought myself. that's a little self-indulgent. Like, wow, Rex is festive. <laughs> He's super festive. No, that was a community <laughs> member. <laughs> that is awesome. Uh, we'll do some pictures yeah. in a video or something in the social groups. Oh, by the way, social groups. Don't forget, we got the Facebook group if you're new. 
Uh, we got the subreddit, and then uh, on the website, we got the newsletter. Uh, so things, right? Oh, goodness, you guys have a tremendous crowd. Oh, no. You no. guys are magnificent. I wish there was some word I mean, to describe who and what you were. <laughs> Scoot mooching. Uh, yes. Deb is scoot mooching. <laughs> the three modern bastards. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty good. That's pretty good. Hey, Brian from Steven Reynolds. Mooch, scoot, and boogie. That's exactly <laughs> it. Scoot and boogie sounds like a medical condition. <laughs> Dude, it's I'm sorry. Story. You have a terrible case of the mooch, scoot, scoot and boogie. boogie. <laughs> <laughs> also known as... <laughs> also, you have herpes. <laughs> it's 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 often the, they're often found together. Variation of herpes. It's more fun than so, regular herpes. Do you? Uh, is there a limited quantity of this? Uh, is that barrel? That's it. Um, all the way. Well, that's gonna take me all afternoon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Best get started. Uh, uh, may, may I grab a? In theory, one? that's a hundred yeah. ounces. Yeah, yeah. Come here. Get the thing before you. I'm. Um, so what are we going to do with this? Do we want to talk about that yet? Oh. It's going to be amazing. Okay. Just it's going to be amazing. Discriminately to people regardless of age. <laughs> that seems nice. <laughs> I'm just throwing it out there. Jeez, no, bad, no bad ideas. <laughs> uh, so um, there are bad ideas. <laughs> Sorry. How do, I, how do I get it out of there? You tip your yeah. oh, right Okay, great. And then, there you go. Oh, okay. oh well. There you, go. you guys should use the tears of Daniel to open up the whiskey. <laughs> 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 That's true. That's team right here. Uh, so what uh, we're doing is um, we want to get in the comments after the video post because I don't want to go back and read this blisteringly. Yeah, you're gonna have to put it in the actual comments because the stream does not show up. The chat never shows no, up in the final does. post. They, they updated YouTube. It shows up. Oh, it does. Yeah, so I went and looked for it, but, but I never find it. But in the stream of this post mm -hmm. after it's published, we want to have your YouTube channel recommendations for other non-whiskey YouTube channels. Yes, that's the key. Non-whiskey YouTube channels but who... You know you like the... You, you know, know they, they like, like whiskey. whiskey. Yeah, and we want to send out samples to those channels and say, hey, we heard you love whiskey, and our community thought you would love to try 100 bottles of whiskey blended into one magnificent whiskey. Yep, and we'll box it in one of the Theory 11 boxes I bought from them. Oh, wonderful. In a little package, and we're going to mail it to them as a gift. Yeah. Now, it's not my responsibility to tell them what to think and what to suggest, but it seems to me, as a fan, as a member of the Whiskey Tribe, it yep. just seems like if you're going to suggest it, maybe it should be somebody with a reputation for, you know, sharing it on the air. And modern roguing. Maybe has a very... <laughs> so uh, we'll see if you win, Greg. Right? We'll see if you win. If you get enough people voting for you, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. Obviously, <laughs> PewDiePie is going to get a lot of recommendations. Yeah, because he, we just need to figure out how to actually mail him something. Uh, <laughs> you know, um, I've heard binging binging with Babish, this cooking show. He really likes whiskey too. Yeah, he's a good can a good if candidate. You, okay, now, yeah, Still is, but he's a whiskey channel. channel. Yeah, he's a whiskey channel. I have a high minded idea. Yeah. Okay. If high minded. Really, if you want. I mean, like the chocolate now, by the way. Go ahead. PewDiePie likes certain things. If you're going to name it, that's the wrong whiskey. Never mind. Uh, <laughs> PewDiePie is, likes certain things, and so I'm just going to throw this out here. Maybe you go high minded on this, right? Maybe you try to represent the ideal of the soul of introspection, of what it means uh, to focus on yourself. Hmm. And then you, 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 the, it's a silhouette hmm. of a human body, and there's like a, uh, there's a thing in there, and you call it. Are you drunk uh, right now? You call it. The inward. <laughs> he seems to have an affinity for that. <laughs> he really does. Uh, <laughs> Live stream. Uh, <laughs> oh God! Oh God! Damn you, Bruce! <laughs> 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 oh, all right. So, uh, whenever this video posts, we're going to be getting your ideas for channels that you absolutely love. And sometimes it's just following their their Twitter, their Instagram. They'll kind of have something behind the scenes, or they'll talk about their hobbies. They're feature on the channel. If they don't, we just want to kind of spread the love because a hundred thousand is a magnificent gift from you guys, and Man, we want to pay it back into I would the rest kill, of the uh, YouTube community. I would kill to figure out how to get this to Nick Offerman. Oh, yeah. But you know he's got to have like eight layers of addresses between him and reality. Right. Right. And if he gets like a consumable thing from people, 
It's like, yeah, I'm not touching that. Yeah. <laughs> but, and, yeah. And, and, and also there's always this expectation, like, like people get stuff from brand managers, they get free crap all the time. And there's sure. always this weird expectation, like you're gonna do a thing or whatever. Yeah. So, uh, but there have been things people have sent me that have, they figured out a way to make it a quest or make it an interesting experience, whether yeah. or not I like the thing or not, or whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, so somebody they told a good story. Uh, yeah, somebody just publicly tweeted me uh, the location of an Amazon locker and said, there's a gift for you. And I was like, which Amazon locker? And they're like, good luck. Here's the barcode. <laughs> and, I, and I ended up spending like half a day. And then it's I like got a, it. It's like a treasure hunt. But, but, but it was really great because there was like a note and it was fun. It was tied into an episode. And it was clearly done with love. So I don't know. It seems like maybe there's some way for you to make it mm. really fun. So that's what we all like to tell ourselves. That's, that's that smacks of effort, though. That we're going to be fun. Do you remember? I'm the button guy. Yeah. Yeah. He wants a button. Give me a button. I want a button. All right, guys. Uh, uh, Deb's gonna be here any moment, and we're gonna measure the proof on this. In the meantime, let's get some questions, and then uh, we'll bring this in for a landing, so we don't get annihilated before. Uh, well done, you! You look like you ran yeah. instead of rode a scooter. Yeah, I think like a big scooter. Ah! Ah! <laughs> you just leaned forward. <laughs> you leaned forward, Deb. I did. She couldn't get the kicks. Okay. This is going to be hotter than it is in the room. It's going to take a second for this to calibrate. What is happening? We're going to measure the proof. Oh, this is... I swear to God. Dude, this oh, cost $3,000. Because I thought we were doing breathalyzers. And I was oh, like, I gotta I've gotta been drinking all day. <laughs> <laughs> I've been uh, drunk all week. Uh, all right, let's do some questions here. Do you are have... you still on the board of directors? <laughs> How long did that last? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it I'm still is. I'm still on there. <laughs> None of them watch our channel. It's How much did the barrel cost? I can tell you this. So this barrel, as you noticed, I I aimed it so you can see. This is a Balcones barrel. It used to hold rumble, and uh, they dumped it this year. And I bought it, and it was around two hundred bucks from because I I could have we could have gotten one from Balcones. They would have given it to us. But I wanted to buy from their secondary provider because that supports them and sure. their infrastructure. So, and so it was a couple somebody, hundred bucks. Somebody asked how long are we going to let the barrel age? We're not. We're not. We're going to immediately bottle this so that the rumble doesn't affect it that much. It was just an efficient thing yeah. to catch the whiskey. It's not a quarter cask, Jimmy. It's actually a five uh, gallon barrel. Have you guys thought about seeing who can bench press the most cask meat or something? <laughs> Can we, can we do a... He's asking this? Here's the thing. He's asking this because he's been working out like daily. Yeah, he really has. And he's, he's like, oh, you're totally fine. He's like, he's like a, Let's see you can do it better. He's like a stacked little bulldog. Right I don't know now. what you're talking and, about. First and, of all, I'm not in this story. And, I want to know, between the two of you guys, who's the world's strongest mooch? Oh, no, that's me. That is a reality show in the making. This is, I mean, people they're, have they're people have eyes. Uh, <laughs> they have eyes they can see. So rush when you're drunk. Oh, rush shit. when you're drunk, go home. Oh, shit. He's doing it. Oh, my God, I hear the sloshing. It's weird. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's see if we can test this I thing. I regret so much wood right now. <laughs> hey. Hey, what's up? So if you get him going... Rush, but what happens whenever we start talking about uh, do you do you perhaps start to I don't know if gloat's the right word, but celebrate your physique? Is this a thing that happens? Is this do you perhaps rock back in your chair, start telling me about your workout routine and make sure you get the, the guns flexing in there? Is that is that something that happens, Brett? Is um, this a thing? Do you come across on camera as just a a humble, like a little goofball. You scamp, you're gonna teach us some tricks, but really, you are the biggest prima donna I have ever met in my entire life. No! <laughs> oh my god! I'm so turned on right now. Hey, let me work that out for you. Oh, you're sticky! You're sticky! I've been in the fucking woods all day! Come on! All right. He's literally right, sticky. <laughs> Stack little bulldog. You did that to yourself. You did that to yourself. <laughs> I, mean, I need a like like a wet like this. Uh, all right, this uh, no Rex is not sure enough. This is this is not. You've seen my banned from movies. Twitch. <laughs> <laughs> I did violate the nipple rule. Yeah. Hey, Cannon Cheeks just became the proud Whiskey Tribe Chief number five hundred. Nice. Awesome. Well done, you sir. Yes. 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 Uh, uh, oh. oh, Perks Bottle. Let's talk Perks Bottle. What, what, what? Perks Bottle. You're saying things. Whiskey, Patreon, 
perks bottle. You get to claim a bottle. Oh, the claim. How's that going to work? Yeah. Okay. So by the time we do the opening, it will uh, be close enough to six months that we're going to let the people who get two bottles a year have the chance at claiming one of the bottles from the opening mm -hmm. as one of your bottles. Yeah. Even if you can't attend, even if you can't attend, you can claim one of the bottles from the grand opening as one of your bottles. Now, uh, the people who are uh, Earls, they get four a year. Right. Every three months. You Every get three months. Right. And so Earls will get to pick two bottles from the grand opening of our releases if they want to. Um, and then after that, we'll wait a little bit longer and everybody gets another shot at things. Uh, magic trick, please, Brian. Corey Grant wants a magic trick, uh, preferably involving those nipples. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, uh, do you want to do you want to tease the idea we have about magic and oh. uh, and the mooch? Oh, oh, can we, can we uh, do oh. it? Uh, just talk it out. We're no, just no, 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 we're gonna say that. We're gonna okay. say that. We're gonna I, say that. I, I have plans. All right, I have plans, uh, but I, we, I do want to talk about. It. You have more. Well, I'm answering two questions. Okay, two questions. We are selling cigars at the opening, and then we will also put them online. There are crowded barrel branded cigars that I've been working on. Uh, we also are gonna sell the bottles for around forty bucks. Is our current plan. Brian, mm -hmm. so you have some big, amazing developments happening in your world. For those that don't know, mm -hmm. Brian and his team have claimed a piece of property, not just any property. This is special property. Walk us through your, your vision for the future. What's happening with the modern road? Have you seen that life-changing documentary film Fight Club. <laughs> <laughs> documentary film. <laughs> <laughs> like, it is a how-to guide that leads you to success. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, so the real thing is uh, we're renting some space. Uh, nobody's there most of the day. Most people work from home. And it occurs to me that we've reached a phase with the modern road that we're, what we deeply need is more content. We need to be more than just once per week. Yep. And we need to, to tell another story besides sure. the Friday Modern Rogue episodes. Sure. So it occurred to me that uh, we should all be working on, under the same roof. Uh, it's been about a year of keeping an eye on different properties or whatever. Yep. We found this insane property. This piece of land. So many different stories. You, you've heard the stories, right? They have not heard the stories. Uh, it's called it. True Fact. <laughs> yeah. uh, 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 totally uh, true. Uh, the guy who was there before the guy I bought it from uh, uh, practicing Qigong. If you're not familiar, Qigong, quite literally, the force. <laughs> uh, and then, uh, and then uh, on, on top of that, in the 1980s, uh, they, they used to have like a bunch of bungalows or whatever. And apparently some of the tenants there were, were uh, ran a preschool or whatever. They got caught up in the satanic panic, which was this weird wave where a bunch of lawyers said, you know, it's a responsible thing to do. Except the eyewitness testimony of toddlers because yeah. they're very reliable. And then the mm -hmm. uh, toddlers started telling stories about like, uh, and then we worship the devil in our daycare, and then killed Larry, and all that stuff. And then people went to jail for like twenty years. Yeah, and then the and United are just States, now getting out. The United States government says, "Sorry about your life." Mm -hmm. Yeah, here's hey, three million dollars. Turns out we probably shouldn't have taken the testimony of a four-year-old who was being interviewed by police. So I've actually, I've actually, <laughs> I've been out to the property that Brian has purchased. For all of his plans for the Modern Rogue uh, team. Wait, pause. Hey. Brett Redding is getting married today. Brett Redding, you magnificent <laughs> bastard. Congratulations. You tricked her. All right. On his honeymoon night, he's just like, you said I tricked her. Okay. So, um, for his team and the community, I've been out to the property. This is special property because within walking distance, there are like literally caged lions. Okay, uh, within one mile, yes, there are caged uh, lions. Yeah, that's true. There is a uh, uh, enough fresh water in a tower uh, for uh, us to live uh, seven years. Mm -hmm. There. Battle-hardened warriors. Uh, a, a mercenary army. You need, we need, you need it. to win them to your side for it. It's a BFW hall. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, but, but also, the guy that did point? the woodwork, the reclaimed woodwork We're in 46. Canada. My new neighbor, just down the road. Oh, okay. Also, just across the valley, mm -hmm. is the most legendary whiskey mooch in all of history. Oh. 
week. Yeah, that's right. You do live very now neighbors. You live very close to me. That's true. <laughs> It's a real we day. can walk over to Rex's house. Now. How's your whiskey collection? Um, <laughs> I've been meaning to talk to you about it. I would like to have one. Well, it I think you like should. A... I think you should have a whiskey collection. I can uh, tell you which bottles would be good. <laughs> red Breast Bluff cask drink. Ah, it's just going to be a whole <laughs> bar <laughs> with 100 bottles of Red Breast 12 cask drinks. <laughs> so glad you didn't say much. <laughs> <laughs> Alex Sparkin, yes, Brian is starting a cult. Uh, we, have, we have cold uh, if you if you are interested, I don't know, this is your celebration, not mine. But if you if you want to see me go on a three minute walk of the property, yeah. um, I do my very best under the Wizard Academy as I walk people around talking about the things that might be. Also, uh, I don't want to overstate my welcome. I don't know how how like Kramer knew when to leave, right? <laughs> right. We're coming in for a landing. Okay. Yeah. You're gonna oh. hold. You're gonna hold up the glass, and oh. we're gonna toast. Oh my goodness! This is already the end. You, you are so day. late, man. We've been here since 11. I was you came in here to, to <laughs> sashay around with your shirt off. And then, <laughs> and then you say we haven't been doing this also, for wait, Before we leave, when it comes to the opening, they get to buy, because that discussion has shown up several times. You can take home two bottles per driver's license. <laughs> Yes. Notice that it didn't say it have to be per yours? person. Yes. <laughs> we have to be able to write down the name of the driver's license, driver's license number per person. Every person gets 1,500 milliliters every 30 days. So that means for the opening, uh, any person can show up and bring two. The proof of the barrel is 46% alcohol. 46%. 46. Alcohol. Okay. Yes. Good proof. Good proof. Uh, we invited a bunch of YouTube channels. We did invite Ralphie. I'm not sure if he got the message, but we invited... Uh, a lot of other whiskey YouTube channels. I saw that question. By the way, when is my head, my head getting shaved? This is kind of like at the mercy of you guys. I mean, I've been getting yeah, Rex I've keeps going game. like, "Hey, did anyone shave it?" And I keep saying, "I don't have the proper tools." <laughs> can I? So, can so I, I, yeah. all right. Number one, I do have the proper tools. Number two, yeah. here's the real question. He shooted me up. With if the point yeah. is to mimic this hairstyle, then right. it seems like there's two shaves. Yeah, there's, there's the the, the buzz. Oh, I don't want the, I don't want the and push. then there's the razor shave, dude. Yeah, we'll yeah, do the yeah, razor so shave. Oh, Here's the fighting <laughs> ceiling. No, 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 you're razor shaving. And yes, by the way, Brian will be there <laughs> at the grand opening. Wait, wait, but more so, importantly, so will Bonnie. Say, say, Jen said. Literally, did you know Daniel was the proper tool? <laughs> <laughs> that was that was really well played. Yeah. Well done. All right, guys, on that note. Here we go. It's 46% alcohol, not ABV. Obviously, we didn't pour a shit ton of whiskey in there that ended up at 20% fucking alcohol. <laughs> Here's, Here's the, the fighting, fighting stealing, and drinking. drinking. If you fight, may you fight for a friend. If you steal, may you steal a lover's heart. And if, if you drink, drink may, may you drink, drink with us. us. I need the last part. Well done. <laughs> Cheers, guys. Love you. <laughs>